Oh, your majesty. How's it going, Marie? Kings have a history of betting a lot of women and constantly wanting more time in bed to produce more heirs just for fun. Because, you know, kings. It's good to be the king. For instance, Edward VII of England, who ruled from 1901 to 1910, had nicknames like Dirty Birdie and Edward the Caresser. That's a good one. He had affairs with upper class women and famous actresses and was a regular at countless Parisian brothels. He spent so much time at one particular establishment, Le Chabonnet, he had a custom made sex chair just to accommodate him and two paid companions. But that's just the tip. Alfonso VIII of Spain may have him beat off the competition in part due to the commitment to solo bed getting. Edward VII had to travel all the way to Paris, for instance, and Alfonso happily took matters into his own hands. Alfonso VIII is both the only royal to have ever been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize and the only royal to have a dirty cinema tab on his Wikipedia page. He was a late 1800s king, a member of the House of Bourbon, uh, presented to the Prime Minister naked on a silver platter, okay? And the Bourbons are an offshoot of the famously inbred Habsburgs, and uh, he certainly looks the part. Like, uh, here he is looking pretty inbred. Run away! Run away! And while that could lead to some serious birth defects for his offspring, he sired his first illegitimate child in 19 with Melanie Galfredi de Ondorton, uh, the mother of four. This took place while Alfonso planned his weddings to Victoria Eugene of Battenberg, the granddaughter of Queen Victoria and niece of the aforementioned Dirty Birdie. Alfonso's mother had doubts about the union and Victoria Eugene had a hemophilia in her family and a 50% chance of passing it on to her children. Just so happens the wedding itself was interrupted by a bomb flung through a window. The king and queen were unharmed and only 30 civilians were killed. Alfonso had seven legitimate children with his wife between 1907 and 1914, and at least another five illegitimate ones with various companions. And while he was not progenating, he often watched people do the deed, even going so far as to found a nudie cinema company, which he forced two Spanish guys to run in his stead. So, you know, he wouldn't get caught by the authorities. Something. I'm sorry, this guy's the king. Can he do whatever he wants? Forget the Spanish Civil War. This guy was a Spanish civil whore. And for that, we owe him absolutely nothing. I am your king. I didn't know we had a king.